Hi guys, I'm Cameron from Fuel Tech USA. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This channel is where we're going to be posting videos about high performance and racing and for those who like to learn more about the Fuel Tech product line. If you still have any questions, don't be afraid to contact our tech support team by phone, email, or our new website chat. It's a really great way to get in touch with us. So guys, this is the Pro 600 V8 Complete Harness. You can find this on our website. Also, we have a really cool package builder that you can use where you can build this whole entire kit yourself, all the way from ECU, harness, sensors, and everything included. It comes in a very nice cinch bag. This one's red with the black Fuel Tech logo. So when you get your harness, it will come like this, all tied up. And then when you get ready to install, you can use this bag for something else at the track or give it to one of your kids or something. They can use it for a backpack for school. It's a pretty cool thing. Today we have the Pro 600 harness. Like all of our Pro Series harnesses, this one has the CPC connector that allows you to disconnect it in the middle. That's awesome for if you have to do any maintenance, pull the engine out of your car or anything like that. You don't have to remove the whole harness. You can just pull the engine bay side. Uh, some new features about this harness, the Generation 2 Pro 600 harness has a EGT-8 connector already built in, so you don't have to wire this yourself anymore. You can just plug your EGT-8 in if you get one. Our Nano's already in there, just like all of our other harnesses do. We've got peak and hold connectors, and you can put a jumper in here if you're using high impedance injectors, or you can get a set of our peak and hold injector drivers, and you can just plug these right in. It's super easy to do. Now you can run low impedance injectors. Uh, we've got several different variants of these, 8 amp, 4 amp, and 2 amp. Uh, that allows you to use all different kinds of injectors depending on what injectors you have. We also have our extra inputs and extra outputs connectors. So we have our yellow outputs here. We have the rest of our extra blue outputs here. Gray outputs for like ignition coils or anything else that you might want to use. Our white inputs for sensors like shock sensors or any other pressure sensors that you want to install on your car that are not already in this harness and then also an auxiliary power for our secondary injector harness. All of our pressure sensors for the, your normal stuff are already there, same thing with temperature sensors. So we've already got our air temperature sensor here. We've already got our water temperature sensor here, wastegate pressure, oil pressure. Uh, all that stuff is already pre-configured here so you don't have to wire those yourself anymore. Uh, cam and crank sensor connectors are here for Hall Effect and also for the two wire style VR sensors if you have a sensor that's only two wires. Fuel pressure and back pressure are already here, but you can use these for different things. If, you're, if your car is not turbocharged, you can use the back pressure for pan vacuum or something like that. Any of these sensors, if you're not using that sensor on the car, but you have something that uses the same connector, you can repurpose the inputs on these for something else. Also, we have our EV1 style injector connectors with the nice boots on them. Uh, it's a really nice thing to have. It keeps everything from getting all messed up and dirty. And also these connectors are really nice and they lock onto your injectors really, really well. Um, the sheathing is really nice, durable stuff, keeps the harness looking nice so you won't have any problems. It's already pre-terminated with an extra powered CAN connector here, and then we also have CAN uh, A and CAN B over here. Uh, this allows you to use like a switch panel or any other CAN device that needs power all in one connector so you don't have to wire that yourself anymore. So all the stuff that's in this video can be seen at our website below, so make sure you check out the link and explore for a little bit. And I'll see you next week, guys.